I'm Isaac. I'm going to show you how I'm using the uh, REPL to control the cluster of node workers that are running the new NPM website. So over here you see the logs flying by. Um, and up here we got a, a Petri node which is showing us all of the processes called node um, or all the processes from node, the node user on the server. And there's, there's a few things here. There's uh, a couple of SSH connections. Um, which is me doing stuff, and then there are these uh, this node server.js, which has a bunch of children, which are the the worker nodes. Um, and I'm using Cluster Master, which is a, a module for managing a cluster from um, you know keeping a, a particular number of workers alive at all times. So I've got this module called REPL. .js, this little node program that I got from a gist of Nathan Rylix, 2 tall Nate. Um, I just changed the file name, but otherwise it's exactly the same. It's just piping standard in and standard out to the socket that is created by Cluster Master. And so we can see here I've got a bunch of these servers that are running. And let's just say that one of them were to die an untimely death somehow. If I do this, you can, I can see in the REPL that that worker disconnected. It says it disconnected abnormally. It resizes up. It tells me that there is one worker coming back online. And now, if I look at it again, I can see there's this new worker that has come in to fill that, that empty spot. In the REPL, I can type workers. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller here. In the REPL, I can type workers, and this will give me a list of all of the different workers that are currently online and their states. If I resize up to, let's say, nine workers, I'm currently at eight. Yeah. So if I resize up to nine, it's going to tell me that worker 11 is setting up, and we can see the in the logs, uh, it's going by pretty fast because this site is online and live right now. Uh, this new worker comes up. Uh, we can see worker equals 11, so that's its, its unique ID, and it's listening on 443 on the SSL port. Now, if I type workers, I'll see that new worker in the list. Um, let's say I don't want to cause an untimely death, but I do want to maybe just have it disconnect and do so in a, in a uh, nice way. I can say cluster.workers3.disconnect. Okay, well that one's not responding. It's probably in some kind of awful state. Uh, there's there's a bug that I've just started noticing, which is causing some kind of awful latency in certain requests. So that's actually why I'm doing this. All right, this one is was actually in a in a good mood, um, and when I called disconnect on it, it disconnected. Then it exited in a timely fashion. Um, hold on, that uh, I lost that log. Okay, well, whatever. You, you might have seen, you can rewind the tape and see in the log there was a little... Ah, uh, there it is. This pink warning. Uh, disconnected and then exited. Every time it disconnects, we expect a clean exit shortly thereafter. Now, what is happening with that worker 3? Um, it says it's listening, but I'm actually really not believing that because it didn't respond properly. So let's try... Let's look at the, uh, the PIDs. And it's this one right here. So if we do process.kill um, pids3. OK, then it now it, it realized what was going on. When we killed it, it noticed uh, the disconnect went through. And then it exited. And it res uh, resized up another one. Um, the number on the resizing up is actually, I consider that a bug. It's, it's off by one. Uh, normally, you would see like resizing up 0, 1, 2. Um, it should probably just say one because that's how many it has to still resize. Eh, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's it. If we, uh, what you can also do rather than doing process.kill just as a um, a thing you can do is we could do cluster.workers workers zero dot id dot process dot kill and that'll be effectively the same thing as calling kill on that on that PID. And now I can see the PIDs of all the servers that I have. Let's say I wanted to resize up to uh, 16. I want to bring on eight new workers. Let's say I just got a whole bunch of new CPU power. 
um, I can do that and as you can see it'll just spin up all those workers now if I see type workers I see there's a lot more and now it's resized back down to eight okay uh, each one of those went through and calls called disconnect on each one each one of them disconnected properly which is exactly what we want and so now our size is eight which we have one extra one that's not listening properly it's probably that same bug that I'm in the middle of trying to track down uh, whatever it'll be fine and um, what was the other thing that I wanted to show you yeah, so let's just try killing this guy. What happens? All right, yep, disconnected, exited, great. Um, so the other thing that I want to show is like if I, let's say I push some new code, because we're changing the, um, we're changing the master, the cluster master module very rare, only very rarely, and the master server has almost nothing in it. It basically just says use this particular worker script and uh, have this many workers. So I can get in here and I can change the number of workers pretty easily. Um, and what I can also do is just type restart and what this will do is go through and um, first try to start up one you see this worker 22 it's kind of like the the canary if that one fails it does it just says oh I, it broke if that one works then it spins up a whole bunch of new ones and as each one comes up it kills um, an old one Oop. and I mean this is just like a node REPL so I can do stuff like you know as div dot match Dot, you know stuff like that it's just javascript and stuff um so that's about it that i have to show you thank you very much